Hey everyone, welcome back to Gundamentals. Um, occasionally on the channel, I'm going to feature some non-firearms items that are useful to people who probably have firearms. And today, we're going to take a look at the crappiest headlamp I have ever seen. I got this thing at a liquidator store a couple months ago. It was like $3. And I remember sitting there thinking, okay, how bad can it possibly be? Yeah, it probably won't be all that bright, but, you know, it, for three bucks, you know, it, it can be useful for someone, even if it's not all that bright. I'm sure I can find a use for it. No, 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 no. Not even for three bucks is this thing useful for anything except maybe the headband strap here. Okay, so first thing, uh, to open it, there's this little uh, thing on the side here, you pop that off, and it's got this little battery carrier in here. And you're supposed to load the batteries into this and then load it into here. So then here it's got this little up arrow here and it's, it's grooved inside here and there's only like one way it can fit, I guess, something like that. So you're supposed to get it in like that and then I think these two springs here are supposed to make contact with those two um, big contact points on the bottom there so you get that in there and you try to get this on notice that shifted quite a bit as I did that as well so this thing actually spins a little bit, so you got to be careful of that. Now let's make sure that we're still lined up. Okay. And I think this is the on-off switch, and we are getting nothing. Why are we getting nothing? Well, let's verify that we're getting enough pressure. Maybe this thing isn't closing on this enough to put enough pressure on the springs on the other side to get a connection. So let's put some pressure on this. Oops, this other cap just bra broke off. What the heck? So you look in here, there's a few wires in there. Um, doesn't look like any solder points are broken. That looks fine. Let's pull that out. And then let's tear this apart real quick, make sure there's no solder points broken up on the side there. It all looks intact to me. So why isn't it working? Let me ver let me uh, grab a different set of batteries here so we can verify that it's not these batteries. So let's try the whole thing again here. Get this thing on. I actually have a little bit of play now, so when this pops up if again, we won't be putting that much pressure on it. Let's see here. Oh, I got this battery in backwards. Let me get that one in right. Okay, now all the batteries are in right. I'll slide the battery carrier in there again. Now I'll, I'll hold some pressure here to keep that closed while I put pressure with my thumb there. And still nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let 
Now, when I was first trying this, when I got it, I was able to get it to flash for a couple seconds here and there, but other than that, I mean, how can you screw this up? I mean, this is a pretty simple, pretty simple circuit here. There's nothing complex electronically about this, so I don't understand why this doesn't work. doesn't even work. So let's verify a few things here electronically. I got my voltmeter out. Let's take a look at the uh, battery carrier here. Make sure that this measures all right and that the uh, circuitry works. I'm going to touch it to the two springs here. If I can get it to sit in there right. There you go. 4 volts, yes, a little on the low side for three triple A's there, but certainly within spec, that's what, about 1.35 each, something like that. So let's verify continuity then between this little circuit board here and this little circuit board. To do that, I'm going to switch it to ohms. So when there's no continuity, it's going to show that when there is continuity it's going to show that. Okay, lead number one works. Let's try number two. Number two works. Number three. And number four. So that all works. Now, what about this little plate here? See, I just don't know what goes to the wire. I mean, it's pretty simple here. How, how on earth could you mess this up? is my question. I don't get it. There's a little bit of continuity there. Seems to cut in and out somehow. <laughs> I don't know. So unless somebody is pretty handy with working with this kind of thing you can find a way to get it to work or just use the parts somehow like like I could see this in the LED as the board here being useful for something I can see the elastic band here being useful for something you know for three bucks maybe you can put that to use for something but considering you can get a coast headlamp here that's 210 lumens for twenty dollars at uh, Walmart you know, why would somebody waste their time trying to monkey around with this thing? I don't know. Uh, so that's my review on the crappiest headlamp ever made. Uh, go ahead and check out some of my other videos, and uh, we'll see you next time on Gundamentals.